Hello everyone! Today I'm going to use this app called RStudio Pro to create composite images, which are kind of like collage. It's pretty simple where you cut out a part of the image and combine it with other photos. But you don't need a Mac or PC and you could work on it with your iPad on the go, so feel free to try it if you can. The app RStudio Pro is what I usually use and it's similar to Photoshop. There's a link in the description box for the app, so check it out as well. Alright, let's start. From the plus button at the upper right, tap New from Photos to import a new photo. This time, we are going to use the image of a girl. I want to add a flower layer on top of this image. So open the image of a flower separately. And from here, we are going to select this image of a white flower. How this works is that we are going to choose the black background instead of the flower, which is white in color, and invert it to determine the selection area. Here is the toolbar on the left side. But from the selection tool, choose the category that says Magic Band, which can be found at the very bottom. This will be the same function as the Auto Select tool in Photoshop. By sliding on the area of a black background with an Apple Pencil, it gets auto selected. And there are still some gray parts left, so for this part, we are going to add by ourselves. From the toolbar on the left, select a lasso tool and we are going to circle it. I just did it, but it got inverted. So when this happens, right now it says subtract at the bottom here. So switch it to add and select the area again to have the whole black background area chosen. There is a part of flower metal missing here, so for this one, switch to subtract and circle the area. Just like this, the background is selected right now. Click here that says select and invert so that only the flower gets selected. While keeping this state, from the edit button, tap copy and now it's copied. And now go back to the image of a girl. In the same way, tap edit and now paste option should be enabled, so tap it. Which will then show you the image of the flower here, even though it's kind of too big at the moment. From edit, select transform and with this transform function, we can shrink or adjust this image like this. Once the flower image is fixed, the layer should be added on top already. There is a move function at the very top on the toolbar, so we can adjust it later as well. Also, the contrast for this flower is pretty high at the moment, meaning that it's really white in color. So I'm going to adjust the tone here so that these two images combine well to complete the composite image. Right now, we are adjusting the tone curve. There is a tone curve layer added to the layer at the very top. So from the gear icon, select Clippy Mask. This way, the tone curve is applied only to the flower. We can also adjust it later too. We are going to add some more adjustment layers from here to adjust the overall tone. Thank you. 
Once we are done with tone settings, we are going to add a new layer at last and insert handwritten letters. There is a brush tool on the left, and when you tap it, it shows you sliders for color, thickness, and opacity at the bottom. So adjust them to choose your brush to draw with. Just like this, it's complete. We ended up having around 7 layers, but basically we have a layer for the image as a base layer, then the floral layer which we trim earlier, and the rest is all adjustment layers. Just like this, we can easily make an adjustment layer, so try it if you can. And I put out many tutorial videos on RStudio Pro as well as on how to make composite images, so feel free to check them out from my playlist too. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.